Today we're going to do a five hour review on the 2024.5 Gas Gas MC250F Factory Edition. How's it going everyone? My name is Dylan from Coventry Racing and today I want to talk to you about this MC250F, the Factory Edition specifically. I've put about five hours on this bike, a little bit over five hours now on this bike. Just had a fresh oil change as well and the bike is feeling amazing. Honestly, this five hour review is going to be one of the easiest reviews I've ever done, probably for any bike ever. To be honest, I have fallen in love with this bike almost immediately. I went out to Point View Cycle, who I've got the shirt on for right now. Shout out to Point View Cycle. They hooked me up with an amazing deal. Incredibly nice people. Incredibly awesome work that they do out there. They've got a great selection of bikes, gear, everything that you need. Check them out. But yeah, so I bought this bike not that long ago, maybe a month ago, maybe less. I don't know. It hasn't been that long that I've owned the bike, and I've been putting some hours on it here and there. Got to take it out to a few tracks, try it out here and there, check some things out, and... I've strictly ridden motocross tracks. I'm going to use that as reference right now that I have not used this in the woods. I don't have intentions to. This is a motocross bike. I'm going to use it for motocross. That's just me and that's my preference. But with that, here's the thing. This bike, I was very scared of these right here, the air forks. I had no idea what to expect with them. I just got off a of Yamaha and I'm so used to that KYB suspension. That's very, very great suspension, by the way. I even had it done uh, by SR Suspension here in Ohio, and they did a great job. Loved that work. But now I switched over to this gas gas. I got the air forks. I didn't know what I was expecting. And to be honest, they feel great. I will say one thing with the air fork is you need to make sure that your pressure up here, check that pressure before you start riding, and it's well worth checking the pressure because whenever it's not set to the pressure that you want it to be or the desired correct pressure, you're going to find out real quick that the front end doesn't feel near as good, obviously, as compared to when it's set up correctly. But with that, overall, the power on this bike is unbelievable. I love how this bike feels. Like ergonomically speaking, let's just talk about these shrouds and the just like the overall width of the bike. You feel you feel like you're riding a two-stroke because the bike feels so slim, in my opinion. As someone that just got off of a two-stroke, that's a good transition, in my opinion. I will say it was weird going back to a four-stroke, but the engine braking and everything else like whenever you mess around with the connectivity unit that's on this machine you kind of play around with your mapping switches you can play around with whatever you want and you're going to find out real quick that this bike is pretty much whatever you want it to be no it's not going to get you like a 350 or 450 power but you can get some serious power out of this bike and you can get some great traction and control smooth and mellow throttle response i mean i just I just like am still shocked that this bike feels as good as it does this early on. And I was telling my wife that more than likely I'm going to have buyer's remorse whenever I leave the dealership. Um, ironically, I didn't have it when I left the dealership. So I was thinking maybe after the first couple rides, I would get that buyer's remorse. But that's not the case at all. I haven't had buyer's remorse with this bike a single bit. This thing's felt incredible. And when you talk about the factory edition, like small details like this, the seat cover right here, like this extra grip on top, you got the ribs here, it feels so good. And I'm also one that really enjoys having that extra grip and that grab. So that way, when I go into corners and any other time that I'm being kind of lazy and just sitting down or whatever the case may be, I'm being held in place. And I love this seat cover. Feels incredible. Works in really, really well hasn't i mean hasn't gotten like hardly dirty at all i mean i've i haven't hardly touched it with cleaning or anything either it's just been been great the overall consensus of this five hour review is that i have zero complaints on this bike i feel absolutely amazing riding this bike i feel very comfortable i usually take a good while and when i say a good while i mean it takes me a while before i start getting really comfortable on a bike and i'm already feeling more comfortable on this bike than the last one i had and i rode that last one for about a year and a half so I'm going to go ahead and say that that's kind of crazy that in like three weeks to four weeks, I've already gotten more comfortable on this machine than I did on the bike I had for a year and a half. With this five-hour review, I'd also like to state one thing I've noticed, which is something so incredibly nice and helpful, is how clean I think this bike can stay looking after I take it out to the track and I get it beat up. I mean, I beat this bike up with, you know, gripping on the sides on like the side plastics here as well as just the overall components on the engine and everything else i'm i'm taking it out on the track and i'm not giving it you know princess treatment i'm actually going out there and i'm riding and i i don't know i was out i was out of the track the other day for several hours just laying down some laps and just trying to 
get more used to the bike and this thing comes home, clean it up and it looks brand new still. If you guys start looking into getting a factory edition gas gas, I'm sure this is the same thing with the factory edition KTM and the Husqvarna. They're amazing. I absolutely love this bike. I think this was one of the best purchases I've ever made. And truthfully, I think this is going to be a very good bike for longevity. And I plan to do more reviews like this down the road. We can do maybe a 10 hour, 20 hour, whatever you guys want to see. But for right now, this is the five hour review. Absolutely in love with this bike. Totally worth the money. Promise you guys, if you go looking for one of these or you have the interest at all, it's well worth it. So thank you guys once again for joining me today. My name is Dylan from Coventry Racing. And once again, this is a five hour review of the Gas Gas MC250F 2024 and a half factory edition.